So what do you do when you got babies this small, but you got big fingers, and you don't want to hurt them? You go to David Brahms at Specialty Enclosure Designs. I noticed first off, when these guys hatched, that I would need something very small as far as the hook goes for moving them around, uh, any sort of cage maintenance, weighing them. <clears throat> and so, I went to the only person that I, I thought would be able to take the idea I had and run with it, which was David Brahms, who's the sponsor of the Chondrocast. He, uh, he owns Specialty Enclosure Designs, who I've done a video reviews for on the THP channel. This is going to be one of his product reviews of many because he does so much awesome stuff and I'm a big supporter so I am biased but I basically went to him and said I need a hook that's literally the size of a pen. I don't want the little collapsible ones from PetSmart. I don't want anything bigger than literally a pen. So what he came back with was this. It's literally a hook the size of, the, of a pen. So you have this, it's 3D printed like all of his other products. It has a little bit of give. He sent me three different prototypes to play with. This is the one that I find that I use the most. It is about the same size as a Sharpie. If that, as far as the actual, well, the hook basically juts off what would be the end of this. I'm using this thing way more than I thought I would when I initially got it and asked him to make one. It's been such a huge help with these guys. I have big chubby fingers. I don't have any small hooks really aside from like maybe a mini that's about the size of one of the Midwest Tongs minis which is still way too big for these guys. And so I went to David and I said I think this would be really useful can you make this and he said yeah I can give it a shot and he did. And he sent me three prototypes like I said and this thing is great. It's light. Like I said, it's 3D printed. The uh, the actual hook part does have a little bit of give. It does have a little bit of flex, which I actually do like. Some of the other ones he sent me. So the other one he other ones he sent me was this one, and this was actually the one that I thought that I would use the most and like the most. Uh, this is the longest one of the bunch. If I had to guess, it's probably I don't know six or seven inches long. And then this is the other, the third one he sent me, which is very similar in design to this one. Uh, it's just shorter in the actual shaft part. So the hook and the length of this, what I would, I guess, if it were a pipe, like pipe tobacco, I'd call that the shank, I guess. So this part is the same length as, as the model I use the most. But these are the three he sent me. I tried them all because I weigh these guys every week. These things are great. He's going to have them on his website uh, available. I, I don't know what he's going to be running them for. I think he was saying $5. I don't know if that's changed or not. These aren't just for green trees. I would use these for baby Alterna. I would use these for baby Antaresia. Any species that really, if they hatch small and you're, you know, they're kind of delicate, like they're really, they're so small you don't want to hurt them by picking them up with your hands or moving them around with anything that's too big and clumsy, these hooks are the way to go. It's a it's a real lifesaver on top of all his other products. It's just an endless endless stream of innovation and and things for the hobby that that no one really ever thought of until David came around and started using his pretty 3D printers to make them. If this were if this shaft were a little longer, then I'd say guys that breed uh, squams or bush vipers, any of the smaller arboreal vipers where the babies are tiny, this hook would be a great option for that too. Like I said, I'd probably want the shaft to be a little longer for Venomous. Maybe an extra, I don't know, four inches or so on the end. This, I mean, they fit perfectly. It's it's awesome, it's a lifesaver. I love this hook, I use it so much. And of course the old battery died. I'll leave a link in the description uh, to his website to where you can buy one of these. But also check out his website for all the other cool stuff. I'm using these perches and all my baby tubs, which I'll do a review on those at some point as well. I use his perch holders, uh, the Draco portal, which is another one of his cool innovations uh, that allows you to basically make a tub look legit and have a sliding glass door and everything. In the meantime, subscribe, like, follow David, Specialty Enclosure Designs, he's on Facebook. Follow me on Facebook, at Palmetto Coast Exotics. Follow me on Instagram, at Palmetto Coast Exotics. Um, we'll see you later.